Hello guys, today I'm going to make a video which somebody of you asked for. Today I'm going to customize a drum head like Josh Dunn has. What do you need for this? At first you need an old or a new drum head. Second is yellow tape. Third is a template. And fourth you need a bass drum hall to make it identical to that what Josh has. So the first thing that we are going to do is to clean up the logo from the bass drum head. Okay, I can't get it off. Well, let it there. So the next step is to clean it with a dry paper towel or something like that. So what we are doing is next is um, to put on the yellow tape. Well, use some yellow tape you want to. I used this tape for the rest of my drum kit. So, yeah. You can start wherever you want. So I think, start here. Okay, tip, use the scissors. And the last one. I think it looks okay. Now we need to cut all of the axes with the scissors or a auxiliary knife or or with a hobby knife or something like this. Okay, so I cut off the axis with one side of the scissors and it worked out well. So now let's move on. As next, I have here a template that's not made by me, or yeah, this is from a company that made something like this. So I don't know if you can see it, but here's the SJC logo here. And yeah, we need to cut it a little bit more uh, so it can fit on the kit or on the hat. And um, yeah, I hope I don't mess it up because that cost 30 euros 30 euros for just this template that I'm throwing away <laughs> wow but you can also use other methods that I show later in this video because there are much cheaper options to do this
Okay, now we need to spray paint this. And uh, but before I do this, I need to cover those areas which are not templated by it. So now we can spray paint it. So I mix a little bit black with water to use the airbrush. Then I set it up here. Okay. So now it's a little bit drier, so I remove the template. So now let's add a little bit of texture. Okay, we are finished with the painting part. So now I let it dry for a couple of seconds and then we are going to make the hole. So now we are coming to the base from hole. So the hole is our or the hole is made of made out of two pieces. The back part and the front part, you can see it. This is the front part, this is the back part. So but before we are going to cut the hole, we need to look where do we want the hole. Josh have it in the bottom section of his drum head like this. So now we use any pen or pencil you have to mark those lines. and cut it with a sharp knife. Okay, so this will work. So we need to remove this and then put it onto that.
so now it's finished until it gives a click and now we have our Josh done bass drum head without the logo I don't want to do that so I clean up all my mess I did in this uh, video and then we set it up so now let's put it on my kit so now it's finished I think it turned out really well you can see the logo and now I'm finished I show you the last t tips and tricks what you can do when you okay when you don't have a template like me so yeah And here it is. So if you got this logo, you need to cut it out at this outer lines. Okay, then you have the logo. So what you need to do is you stick it on to your drum head. I use this rest of paper. So then you take any pencil or anything you want and then you use it as a template it will help if you cut more carefully than me then what I did is to mark me where this stripes are starting and ending Then you need to take a ruler. I think everybody have one of these at home. But my tip for doing this is uh, to use a pencil with the eraser to erase everything that you don't want have in your logo like this lines here I did you want you want you don't want those okay the next thing the next thing uh, you can do is to cut off this letters or you try to paint them with your pencil well I have one here next to me but don't have a razor oh okay that was a lie, I have a razor. So, um, you try it until you like it. 
Um, I mean you can try to measure it out uh, where you need to start like here the start of the S I don't know something like this or we try to cut it out okay if we place it here you can place it wherever you want and then use it as a template like the other ones and then you yeah but the only thing what you can't do is the custom drums because it's very small and you never can make it look cool even you are you have a nice writing so you can do it like this and then you have the S J C here so then if you have those you can paint it in all black here let the letters white, uh, yellow when you taint your drum head yellow and then those is a this is a other version to make this logo and when you try to make the circle I'll give you a tip use a 14 or a 16 inch head from a tom or something place it in the middle of the drum head and then mark it and then go like a centimeter one centimeter in and make the inner circle and you can paint it black too well my drum head you see in my older videos I painted with this pen but you can use anything you want like a sharpie or something like that but this is a I don't want to tell easier version but it's a, another version you can use it so if you like this video give a thumb up if you can use this as a tutorial I wish you good luck and see you next time.